All right, Jackson's gonna go first. In this video, me and my friend bought a $350 swim mat to do raft survival challenges. We decided to do five challenges and compete for a $100 cash prize. The one with the most points at the end wins. Let's go. In this challenge, Jackson has to get onto the raft and then he has to throw a football into there for a point and make a basket into there for a point. If he misses, he misses out on the opportunity for those points. If he falls in, he loses all the points for the round. And if he at least makes it from the raft on back to land, he gets one point. Here he goes. The basket goes in the... Oh, <laughs> you should have shot while you had the chance. Oh, all right, all right, shit, shit. Well, you get one point if you at least get off. If you fall in, you're done for the round. You can, you can stick your feet in the water, hands in the water, you know, like. Here's your chance, here's your chance. Here's your chance. No. It fell. <laughs> we know who's not gonna win. Uh, whoever's going next has a little bit of advantage because now we know that this will come all the way out here when you jump and it'll just rip you back. So you want to throw them at the peak of when it's out here. You're welcome. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Brandon's got. Here's now he's going to get pulled back. <laughs> okay, so far Jackson with zero points, Brian with zero points. Nathan has an opportunity to at least get one point and be in the lead. <laughs> There goes one of his balls. His ball is gone. If he doesn't get that back, he loses out an opportunity. Here he goes, throws it in. No good. Is he getting the, the ball or he's getting get back on the land? Let's see what he decides. He's going for the land. And Nathan comes out with one point. He takes a top spot. And now it's my turn. I'm gonna actually, right when I jump on, I'm making sure that ball does not fall off. I have like the complete upper advantage. I've seen every single type of thing that can happen. <laughs> Struggle bus in there. Oh. Jackson, here's a chance before you go. Jackson has to jump on here, stay on his feet, and sail all the way across. If he falls on the raft, he can get back up, but he can't fall on the raft again. He gets one chance of falling on the raft. If you fall in the water, you're done. You lose all your points. This challenge gives you two points, so you have the chance to take the lead here, Jackson. And if you're about to fall, you can try to parkour onto that too. And he's already going. Oh, boy. And there is sabotaging. If he falls one more time, he's done. Gradually, he is going. And he's going down, no, he's still up. He is still up. Oh, dude. He's going down. He's going down, no, he's still up. You've made it halfway through. Oh, that was smart. Start using your hands. And he is on his knees. Huh? You better get so much momentum here, Brian, that you need that you're gonna get that thing over there as fast as possible because Jackson is coming. He can at least have one knee, as long as one foot catches. And here comes Jackson. Jackson's not letting it happen, though. Go! Go! Brian's still all on. Okay, yep, go ahead. Nathan landed on both his feet. And Jackson's going for the sabotage. And Nathan fell once, but he's still on the ref. He has one more life. Jackson is coming. Jackson's coming. He made it! He made it! He gets two points. He has three points. Alright, Michael's attempt at crossing the river. Jackson is on there with him. This next challenge is Brian and Jackson get one chance. They both have a chance to redeem themselves and at least tie with me. They have to just do a quick cross the river challenge. Jackson, get on it and get off. That's all you have to do. Don't fall in the water. You're also not allowed on your knees. You have to be on your feet. Nice challenge, easy. Brian is going for the sabotage. A chance to at least tie me and grabs it. Brian, it is now your turn. So Brian gets another chance because the raft it, it was it was kind of tilted so let's see if he can tie me and jackson to second place nathan is sitting pretty right now with two points ahead of everyone he has three points bringing is running over is he going for the kill
got it. We're counting it. And he's good. He got it. He used his, his tallness to advantage this. This challenge, Jackson has to run onto the raft, grab the floaty, put it here, and dive through it. He gets at least two points for this if he completes it. Whenever you're ready, just watch it. There's a, a shallow end. All right, go ahead. And he has to dive now. Get in through it. <laughs> Honestly, that was just such a good effort that I think we're going to give it to him. Jackson, two points going his way. Oh, yeah. Since the tube is going to be so small for Brian, Brian gets at least four points for completing this one because he has a major disadvantage. I hit that thing where I had got stuck on it. <laughs> oh, here goes Brian. He's going to go for both of them. He's going for both. He can, if he gets through, he can double the points. Just get through him. <laughs> Brian is going again just because honestly he has such a disadvantage. All right, here he goes. Go, go, go. Get in it, get in it. Possession of the phone. Guys. Shut up, Nathan. You didn't hear a word. You, you didn't hear anything. I'm going for two points. I can tie Jackson in second. I can't. Wait, wait how did Brian from last place get to? Tied for first place. Like, you gave him some extra points for that. I didn't get extra points. Because he's bigger than you. That's not fair. Well, I'm skinnier bigger. than him. Hey, Michael, I wouldn't fail if I were you. Nope, we, he failed. No, he got he it. He failed. Jackson and me are tied in second place, which is also last place right now with three points. Nathan and Brian in first again with five points. For this challenge, you have to get from here to the land over there by the diving board without touching the net. You can't even let your raft touch the net. This round will give you two points if you complete it, or it'll give you four points if you go over the net and still don't touch it without your raft touching the net. And Jackson is... Uh-oh, this is gonna be interesting. Clear. <laughs> two points for Jackson. He is tied with first place. How do you feel? Well, that's too hard. Yeah, I know. I thought so, too. Let's, let's see it, Brian. Yeah. Is he going over? Yeah. He's going <laughs> Fail. He's still in first place, tied with everyone except me. All right, after some fixing after that last tragedy, Nathan is ready to go. Everyone's tied for first. It's a chance to take first again. Is he gonna go? Oh, he's going. He's going under. But uh oh, the back end's the one he has to worry about. This is gonna get intense, and I think he's gonna make. He's gonna make. He made it. And Nathan claims first spot, two points. So Nathan has seven points in first. Brandon Jackson tied in second with five. I'm in last with three. Currently, Michael is succeeded and he has an extra two points. All right, this challenge, we got the drone up in the air and we're all gonna get on the raft. Everyone's gonna get on the raft and battle it out. Last one sitting on the raft, it's five points, which means I'm in last place with three points. If I get five points, I have eight and I win the whole thing. So winger takes everything here. How do you feel about getting $100 off this? Oh, I'm gonna go buy some V-Bucks. 